Hello everyone and welcome back to the weekend soft roading channel. So we're going to be talking about the top three items I use whenever I hit up a trail and uh, what I what I use when I get off a trail. So you can see here we've got a couple items I'll be talking about and we'll be talking about them each here. All right so the first item that we have here is a GPS unit. Of course you need to know where you're going because typically when you go on these trails there's not going to have well, you're not going to have any cellular reception so your phone's good for getting to the trailhead. But once you're there on these four service roads, you're not going to have any uh, reception. So I picked this GPS up. It was a lucky find. I, I found it at a our local thrift store for twelve dollars, and I've updated the map using OpenStreetMaps. But uh, it's really worked well because those maps actually have the four serve roads that I need. Uh, so it's perfect, and I've used this quite a few now, or quite a few times now. And I've saved all my, you know, my favorites here. I can show you uh, here on my favorites book. So as you can see here, and then I got my off-road FSR. And as you can see here, uh, these are some trails that I've been on uh, and some trails that I plan on going on. So you can save it. So on the map, you can actually view where you are. And then from there, you can pick a spot of where you want to go. So again, this is my first item that I use on a regular basis. Of course, is a GPS unit because again, you're not going to have any uh, cellular reception there, and it comes with, of course, a USB charging uh, cable for the car. All right, so the second item that I want to talk about are tire deflators. So they're quite important because once you go to the trailhead, you want to deflate your tires to a certain psi. So what I do is I go to 25 or 20 psi. Uh, my usual is going to be 32 psi, and that's going to help dampen the ride. And also make the ride a much better quality because again you're you're going off trail uh, it's going to be a little bumpy and when you do hit some big rocks you want to dampen that and also you'll also get some additional grip as well because you are increasing the surface area of the tire uh, the downside is that you can't go too fast because if you do you might uh, blow your tire or it'll the tire will get off your rim which you don't want but this kit from amazon comes with a tire uh, gauge so you can see what psi you set it at or when you inflate your tires just make sure it is the correct psi and then the star of the show of course is going to be the actual deflators this is not going to be a how-to video but just to show you you know what gear i use when i first began hitting up these trails that don't have asphalt or actual road so this is the actual deflator so you put this on your 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 stem uh, your tire stem and then they'll deflate it to the set tire pressure that you've set it at so that's cool the cool thing about this is once you set it you forget it and then you put them on and it'll bring it down to your desired psi of mine again is 25 to 20 and then from there you'll be ready to go on those trails uh, they also have some extra valve stem valve stems and valve stem removers and valve caps but i have not used these uh, maybe just the valve caps because i've lost a couple but I've not used this part. I'm mostly using this and the gauge itself. So that is my second most used item when I first began uh, you know, soft roading. My third and last item that I use a lot is going to be my tire inflator or air compressor. So this is just, again, from Amazon. It's a dual cylinder compressor. So these two actually pump up air. And again, this is not like the, the higher end versions like an ARB or, or something like that. Uh, but this works well for me because I do have you know, small tires compared to uh, larger trucks. So this does inflate my tires relatively quickly. It takes about two to three minutes each tire, again, from 20 or 25 PSI to 32 PSI. And this is awesome because you can set the actual, uh, the actual PSI. So I set mine to 32. It'll get there. Once it gets there, it'll automatically stop. And then this air hose is quite long, so I can put it up. And then if I do need to get to my rear tires, which I do, I can just easily snake this through and put it in. You can either go uh, through your uh, car port, uh, or what I like to do is it comes with a kit, actually, are these battery clips, which come in quite handy because it does work way better uh, with these battery clips. And when I've, <laughs> funny thing is when I did use uh, this to plug in into the carport it actually blew my fuse so i use this more often than not and again this is when i'm done on the trail when i'm heading back home i use this and it's uh, really worked well i've used it for about two months now and this is 
held up quite good because again we're on dirt roads and it's on the floor and it's pumping up my tires so this is my last item that i like to use when i'm going on trails or when i'm getting off trails at that point all right so in summary these are the top three items that i use again the gps and then the tire deflator and then the tire inflator or air compressor and these are the items that i use more often when i'm going on these trails and going on some adventure i'm only soft roading who knows maybe in the future i'll do some like hardcore off-roading uh, rock crawling but right now i'm just going on trails exploring our, our beautiful province here uh, so then we can go to these lakes go to these rivers uh, go to these forests or even up mountains and just see the view you know the unpaved road is typically the road that will lead you to a very beautiful view but these are the top items hopefully this helped again i can do uh how to's on on how to use these items uh, on separate videos if you want but uh, this is just a showcase of what i like to use when i'm on these trails so i'll talk to you again have a wonderful day like and subscribe